Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, glory Abba Father, glory ancient of days. <laughs> Child of God, you know, what about us working together? This is just a question that I hear so deeply in my spirit. What about us working together? You know, what you have easily forgiven, there is someone who has vowed never to let go what you have easily forgiven i am telling you unforgiveness is weighing someone down so heavily unforgiveness you are asking yourself what why what did that really do to this person like the bitterness towards you it is something that is it despicable or unspeakable i don't know despicable i think that is the right english you know i know i have professors here who will always tell me about it, that you are correct <laughs> Oh, you are not correct. It's okay. As long as you understand what I'm saying, let God have his way. You know, English is not my first language anyway. I have my mother dialect where I was growing, so all of that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. You know, uh, it is so despicable, the, the level of unforgiveness in the heart of someone. Unforgiveness is something that can eat somebody's up. It can eat someone up. You see them struggle to keep their, their peace. You see them struggling to keep unity. What about letting go? You let go. You that is hearing me right now, you have let go of a lot of things that no one thought you could ever let go. Yes. You have let go of many things that no one ever thought that you can let go. Not that you let go because, oh, they deserve it. Forgiveness is not just about, it's not even about the person that you are forgiven. Forgiveness is about you having your peace. Because the devil is always looking for one way to accuse us. You know, but you see someone that is angry with you, you don't know why they are angry. And you will even apologize. Please, if I have offended you, forgive me. You will see them say, I will never forgive you. And these are believers as well. It is very heartbreaking because this unforgiveness is going to kill them. Yeah, unforgiveness is going to kill them. Grace is still available now. They don't want to take it. Mercy is still available now. They don't want to take it. When the saints are gone, grace will no longer be available. Mercy will no longer be available. The moment I measure that word, my body shook. It took me to the day of judgment, you know. It took me to the thought of our salvation again. All over and all over. I know some persons are tired of me talking about salvation. You have to be saved on my life chart every time. But it is what we need to say. I'm sorry if it becomes too much, but it is a part of this journey that we might be saved. You understand? Because this unforgiveness that is weighing this person down is going to kill this person. Because now, when I mean kill, not that the person will do sec the death that is worse than the normal death that we know about. It's going to kill that person. What death is, is worse than being in hell? That is the worst death that can happen to anyone. So, because now grace is still available, people take it for granted. Mercy is still av available, people take it for granted. Forgiveness is still available, people take it for granted. And a day will come that all of that will no longer be available when the saints are gone. When the saints are gone. Hallelujah. You are asking yourself, what did I do to deserve so much hatred? Unforgiveness in the heart of this person towards you is weighing them down. But I pray that grace, they will find, they will list him. Because God has given every one of us grace. God is a merciful God. The Bible says he's waiting patiently. The same way that 
the prophecy came that Jesus will be born. And people were like, hey, when will he be born? When will he be born? We have been waiting for Messiah, you know. That is the same way the prophecy has also called that he's coming back again. And people are like, hey, when is he coming back? God is just patient with us because the world is full of abomination. Because of some of us, some of you that are still praying that God should show mercy. On this person, God is patient with us. Not that maybe the prophecy is a wrong prophecy. That is why for many thousand years, oh, Jesus has not come. <laughs> May we not be taken on our way. I pray the Lord will show us mercy. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister evangelize by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.